Hey everyone, I'm Jeff Bacalar for CNET TV. I'm joined by CNET editors Dan Ackerman and Scott Stein. The three of us are headed out to E3 2012 next week. Let's jump right in. There's three major press conferences that start E3 2012. Uh, first up is Microsoft. So Dan, what, what do you think we're gonna see from Microsoft at E3? Well, Microsoft usually goes first with big press conferences, kind of sets the tone, and they have, they have two kinds of years they do. Some years, it's big hardware. Maybe it's the Kinect, maybe it's a new slim Xbox, and other years are software years where they just have some big games, like a new Halo game or Gears of War 3 or something like that to rely on. Yeah. I'm gonna say this looks like a software year. Halo 4 is a big game. Beyond that, I'm sure they'll have a new Forza game if you're interested in that. If they start the press conference with Black Ops 2, I'm, I'm not going to be a happy man, though, because that's how they did it last year. It was 20 right? minutes. And they just showed a the game. The same 20-minute demo you saw over and over exactly. again everywhere you went. And not only that, it's a game that's going to be available on another platform. So stay exclusive, Microsoft, is what I guess the takeaway is, right? Let's move to Nintendo real yes. quick. They have no problem being exclusive. They do, right. They've made it that way with their hardware. You have a, a 3D, glasses-free 3D handheld with two screens. Yeah. That's pretty exclusive as far as the games you put on it. And then, you know, the Wii U was shown last year in a very preliminary form with sure. no actual games, just a lot of software demos. Right. That thing's got its own kind of tablet-like um, second screen. And who knows really what that main hardware box looks like or, or what the graphics capabilities are truly going to be. So that's really going to be the coming out party here is what is the Wii U? What will the release date be? Will we see the launch games for it finally? And can it be maybe more than a, than a middling debut? Because I think right now the expectations are, are really pretty low. Right. And there's a sense that Nintendo has jumped the shark, that mm -hmm. nobody's really talking about the Wii anymore. Is the Wii a really good brand name? Sure. And uh, can they recapture that? Can they make that box compelling? Is the price going to be interesting? Is this can they recapture the casual gaming crowd that Apple seems to have taken? But is that genius, having low expectations? Have they actually done exactly the right thing and set that bar low? And Could everyone's like, dope. the Wii was just a fluke. They actually don't right. know what they're doing. Well, well, it's interesting because all along the 3DS, you know, we think of as a failure, but actually the sales numbers have been steadily increasing. Right. And it's doing well, and they're generating profits on the systems and the, and the, and the games. And it's... It's not a DS-like success, but right. I wonder if there's a, it could be a, maybe a slow rebuilding. All right, time to move to Sony. What is Sony going to do? Um, I think it's safe to say that the move is sort of dead in the water. I would be a little shocked to see if they came out and, and was like saying... PlayStation move four-way. Two for your arm, two for your legs. <laughs> two for your legs. <laughs> and that's it. I, I guess what Sony needs to do is sort of reestablish themselves as the software powerhouse. Come up with maybe exclusives like what Microsoft should do. Um, I think they're going to show stuff like the new God of War game. They'll probably show the new Naughty Dog game, The Last of Us, that new sort no, of zombie. Yeah game. Right. Um, yeah, I mean, and I also think solidifying themselves as the content provider that Microsoft has been able to do with all of their uh, uh, multimedia platforms and portals and whatnot. So Sony sort of has their work cut out for them too. What but this is the company that makes uh, the TVs and the stereo systems and they make computers sure. and they make tablets and they make phones and even gaming phones now and the game console and they co-invented Blu-ray. You'd think if anybody could knit all these things together neatly, it would be Sony but they've had a really rough couple of years, even outside of the gaming industry. Oh, for yeah. sure. Outside of their consoles, I mean, let's be honest. It's not like going up. They're really not doing that well. I mean, I'm, I don't know anyone who owns a Sony tablet. I don't know anyone who bought that Sony 3D PlayStation television. It's a tough marriage to, to combine all of those properties together. It's not going to be easy. Let's move away from the uh, console manufacturers, maybe get into more specific games. Do you guys have a specific game that you are losing your mind that you can't wait to see at E3? Absolutely not. All right. No. <laughs> not at all. Now There's it's not it's actually now stunning how, how few games I'm excited about at yeah. this show. This C3 does sort of have the hype meter at kicking level. When yeah. Bioshock checked out, so did I. Yeah, uh, there's not going to be Metal Gear Rising. That won't be around, which is something that people have been mm -hmm. marginally excited about. I'm excited to see maybe something about The Last Guardian. You guys remember okay. that game? That sure. would be fun yeah. to see. You didn't have it at all I'm last waiting. year. Yeah, I know. And it's, it's, it's frustrating. That did seem great. I'm hoping there's some new product, and by that I mean maybe not even hardware, but something, a new concept, a new yeah. idea. Sure. Usually they tend to do like a two-year tease. So you remember like Connect, you know, the year before it was Project Natal, and that yeah. was the year mm -hmm. when they, they didn't really have anything to announce, just this is going to show up in a future uh, means that you don't sure. know about. And then the next year you show the product. So 
Maybe we'll get that. We didn't even mention Connect, and that's kind of telling in a way that it didn't even occur to us to bring that up. Oh, because there's no reason to bring it up. That ship has sailed. All right, so hopefully things will work out better than we're anticipating right now. (laughs) Hopefully. But uh, you can head over to e3.cnet.com for all of our E3 2012 coverage. The three of us will be out there, along with some of our San Francisco friends, and uh, we'll see you there. Thanks for tuning in. For uh, Dan and Scott, I'm Jeff Bacalar. We'll see you guys in Los Angeles.